It's gonna be me. I overslept this morning. Um, it is about quarter past seven and I am due in to work at eight o'clock and it usually takes me about an hour to drive um, on a bad day but because it's so early and it's a Saturday, yes, starting work at 8am on a Saturday, um, fingers crossed I should still make it in time. Although I haven't eaten any breakfast or had any caffeine which is hard but if I get there within good time then I'll have time to pick something up when I get there um but yeah not a civilized start to the day um just gonna find a podcast to listen to on the way before we head off um gonna but it would last forever finish listening to hello from the magic tavern who dabbled in some Apparently the camera wants to focus on the outside rather than me, but that's fine because I look horrendous because I only had 15 minutes to get ready. <laughs> and I'm going to go find coffee and go to work. Luckily, I finish at four, which is quite a luxury. And um, it's nice and peaceful this early, which is quite nice. I genuinely feel completely out of sorts because I usually have at least an hour to two hours in the morning before I get ready. There's the sky. Happy Saturday, guys. Hashtag what's a weekend. <laughs> It is considerably later than it was um, earlier today when I was chatting to you in the car. I've just got back home. Yay! Um, I'm not entirely sure what time it is. I think it's around about half past five. Um, so I do still have the whole evening ahead of me, which is lovely. I have a little to-do list of kind of simple things to get done. Um, one of the first things, I am going to take a lovely bath because I am absolutely knackered and I just think that would be really nice to get cosy. Um, now that I'm here for the evening and I don't care that it's only half five because I'm an adult and I can do what I want and I want to have a bath um, but I wanted to quickly show you um, the outfit that I've been wearing today for me made May just before I get in some some comfies so I am currently wearing my Agnes top I love this top so much um, I need to make more. I always say that when I show you this um, top, I need to make more. I do have fabric for more as well, but I really, really love it. Um, also, a much older me made object. You'll recognize this if you've been following the podcast for a long time. This is my Madeline skirt. It is a pattern by Victory Patterns. It has these massive pockets. Um, the pattern originally called for kind of suspender straps on this skirt, but I um, I left those off. I just like it as it is with the massive pockets. It's good um, at work to have a place to, to store tools and things. So I like, I like having this skirt. Um, I've also today been wearing my Frangia Fade. I haven't been wearing this all day, um, but for quite a lot of it, basically just getting up. Getting up at the kind of weird time that I did and oversleeping and having like no time to adjust to the fact that I had to go to work was horrendous. Um, it's really kind of thrown me in terms of how I feel for the day. I don't know if you guys get that at all, but when you're... Um, you feel a bit out of sync and you're you're used to doing things in a routine and you kind of lose your routine it's really disorienting um 
So I wanted something um, really comforting and cosy, so I've just put on my Find Your Fade, I've been wearing that, and um, it's just so lovely and snuggly and comforting that it makes me feel, it makes me feel better about the whole oversleeping um, situation, which wasn't so bad in the end, because I wasn't late, I just, yeah, it's just left me feeling really kind of out of sync, which is annoying. But, um... I'm going to chill out now. Like I said, I have a little to-do list, so that will feel good once I've gone through that list and got a load of stuff done. Um, it includes writing some show notes for tomorrow's podcast, which I'm going to have to record first thing in the morning, so I need to get an early night. So I'm going to get on um, with my relaxing time, and I'll check in with you guys a bit later. Bye! If this situation seems familiar, it's because it's basically the same as yesterday. Got this huge sofa. This is where he wants to sit. No perception of personal space whatsoever, and he's just falling asleep. What a little monkey. Man.